Hey everyone, this is Roger. Hey, I wanted to show you how to add a timer uh, that will play while your um, uh, slideshow is running. Um, and for our purpose, it's a, uh, it'll be a 10 minute timer uh, while our slides rotate uh, or loop through uh, a few slides through the, throughout those 10 minutes. So. We're going to get started. So the way that I do this is I have a presentation here that I created called uh, Start Pre-Service. And it's just a, a, a simple slide with nothing in it. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my uh, playlist that I'm going to use here. And so I, I put that slide right up at the top. Um, right before my pre-service uh, stills uh, do. So these are the slides that it will loop through for the 10 minutes prior to the service. So I'm gonna add a timer here and a message that when I click this, it'll go right into these uh, slides, uh, looping through them, and it'll show the timer at the bottom of at the bottom. So one quick thing that I that I did here is um, on the go to the next timer, I did put a one second duration. And with that, it'll go right into the next, uh, right into the slide. So <clears throat> first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a uh, theme for how the timer will look like or that message will look like on the slide. So I'm gonna go to theme editor and uh, here's my themes and I have a, a group called NL templates. These are the templates that we use, but I'm, so I'm gonna create a new theme here, okay? Uh, and I'm going to call this theme um, right here. I'm going to call it NL Outbound. Okay. And so right now it's blank. There's nothing in it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a shape, a rectangle. It's so just a box here that's going to go right at the bottom. So this is where my text is going to show my uh, my timer. Okay. So I'm going to scroll there, not necessarily in the corner, but just a little bit about the corner, uh, right to about there. And then I'm going to expand a little more because I'm going to have some text saying we will begin in and then we'll show the numbers uh, there. So on this uh, shape here, I'm going to make the background black, okay, black. And in fact, I'm going to make it a little bit transparent, maybe about 60% transparent. Okay, so it's not fully a, back, a black background, okay? So that's where my text is gonna appear. The next thing is I'm gonna add some text here, okay? And um, I'm gonna add some dummy text just so that I can see what it will look like. So that's kind of what, what the text may look like, okay? Uh, I'm gonna move this text right over the black background Okay. Not necessarily all the way at the end. I'm going to leave a little bit of space here. And then I'm going to move uh, this. Uh, I'm going to leave a little bit of space here just so that I can get to the background if I want to select it. Okay, so when I click on the, I can click on the text or I can click on the background. So if you click on the text, uh, a couple of things. Um, we're going to leave <clears throat> everything. So I'm going to go to the text. I'm going to make it maybe a little bit bigger, maybe 55 uh, font. I'm going to make it right justified because I want it to appear on the right. And then I'm going to add a stroke here, which just adds a little bit of a, um, a ring around the, the words to make them a little bit brighter. Okay. And that's all I'm going to do here. I'm going to come back to this link text in a little bit. Um, but I think for now, this is all I need. Okay. So that should be done. I'm going to go back to my show here, and um, so now I'm going to create my timer. Click on timers, click on the plus sign here to add a new timer. I'm going to name this timer 10 minutes, okay? And I'm going to set the time to 10, hit enter, and then that should be all. You don't want to click the override because that'll go past the zero, like minus. Uh, I don't want to do that, and then I'm just going to close that. Okay, so my timer's done. I'm going to create a message. So that timer is going to be embedded in a message. So I'm going to uh, add a new message here. And I'm going to call this message. Um, 
I'm going to say countdown message. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> this is the text that is going to show. So I'm going to say we will get in space. And then I'm going to drag that this timer link here. That's the timer that we just created. Okay. Um, the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to assign a theme to that time to that message. Okay. And I'm going to go to my new life templates. And here's that L, that NL countdown that we created. So I'm going to select that one. I'm going to select uh, after timer expires so that um, it dismisses this message after the timer expires. Um, and the time, I'm, I don't want to show the hours or the milliseconds, just the minutes and the seconds. So that should all be good there. Okay. Um, there and then I'm just going to close it out so I have my timer I have my message um, so now I'm, I'm gonna go back to my theme theme just to um, do one more little piece here so if I click on the text here again I want to click on this link text so what I'm gonna what I'm doing is I'm linking this text to show my timer that I created okay so that's in fact I can I can do that same we will begin space and then it shows um, I don't want to show the hour or the millisecond just the minutes and seconds and that should be that should be all set there all right so I'll go back to my show now I have my timer I have my message with the right theme so I think I'm ready to go the only thing I need to do is add the message to this slide as an action so that it will when I click on this slide, it'll trigger that message, which shows the timer. So I'm going to right click and then um, add action and action palette. So here's my action palette, and I want to drag this message action right into my slide. Okay. And it's showing all my possible messages. I only have one there, so I'll just select that one. And it's showing me the timer that's associated with that message. So everything's good to go there. You can see that little icon. See, it looks like the message icon here. Could also add audio or other things to 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 this when you when you first start it. Okay. So I'm going to uh, leave it there. That should be ready to go. So when I click on this, what it does, it starts my. See, it started my my timer here with the message. And after one second, it went right into the slideshow. So now the slideshow is rotating through each slide every eight seconds here. Um, and it has that uh, timer there and it'll go all the way until it's uh, zero. Even when it comes back to the first slide again, as it starts to rotate, that uh, timer will continue. So that's it, adding a timer to a message uh, over your slides. Uh, for your pre-service slideshow. Um, hopefully that was helpful for you. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.